in history, all four belts in the cruiserweight division will belong proudly around the waist of one man. Kugan Cassius Eiffel team in association with MTK Global. Can I just stop you right there? Yeah. MTK, it's not, uh, it's not public knowledge, and I don't really know how I know, but um, Bomber Graham, Harold Bomber Graham, my dad boxed him a couple of times. Um, what they've done for Bomber, obviously I'm not going to say what they've done, but what they've done for him, you know, and I know a lot of people have tried to help him that, and it's been great what everyone's got together, the boxing community's trying to help him, but what they've done, yes, what they've done for Errol is exceptional. Um, just want to get that in there, and now we can go on from here. All right, okay, okay. Um, yeah, you kind of uh, come into this press conference today with a slightly different... Approach. Approach. I'm not going to say a different attitude. No. I'm going to say an approach to someone that who beat you last time round. Yeah. So just a little bit of respect there that he's yeah. got that win over you. Yeah, you've got to show respect to Lenroy. He, uh, he beat me last time. And I never disliked Lenroy in the first place. You know, It was a little bit of fun last time. Um, a little bit of fun, a little bit trying to get under his skin. Obviously it didn't work, as he's got that little... It's a nice belt he's carrying around with him today. So uh, just came with a different approach, respectful. And, um, you know, Saturday night, if I, I could have poked fun at him today, I could have been nice, I could have licked his shoes, I could have done whatever, but Saturday night's the same, we're just going to fight anyway, so it is what it is, isn't it? When you hear Eddie Hearn say to you that this is your last chance, yeah, do you actually... Three times. <laughs> 33 times, yeah. yeah. Do you actually think that... Do you register that as, if I don't win, I think to a certain degree that he won't give me another chance. And do you firmly believe that? Yeah, I think if I lose Saturday night, I go on to go back to small all shows, doing six four and six rounders, picking up wins, and then, then get another opportunity and kill box at the arena again, you know? Or B, I go and fight Dubois, Joyce, them lot. C, I'm just packing full stop. So they're the options I've got if I don't win Saturday night. So, yeah, you know, I can't keep going on Sky. I can be as funny as I want, as handsome as I want. I can do all that shit. But if you can't fight, there's no point being on boxing. I might as well go in like, I'm not, good, I'm not good looking enough to model or funny enough to be a comedian, but you know what I mean? Take my skills that I have got and take them elsewhere. So uh, I do need to win Saturday or I'll be off Sky for uh, the foreseeable. See you later, boys. See you later, yeah, mate. That one, mate. Which one was that? That was Jamie. Jamie, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got a twin brother knocking about it. No, no, no. Luckily. Um, but like I said, you're, we know we've been over this uh, many, many times, and I'm sure you've been over this every day of your life since you lost that fight. And then you did have, like I said, uh, the whole Anthony Joshua um, card in October where you mm. thought you were fighting, and then you didn't end up fighting yeah. at all. So there's your man there. What's happening? Lenroy, do you want to come in for a minute? Sure. Oh, OK. So we'll start at the beginning. Like I said, I never disliked Lenroy Thomas. He beat me last time. So today I had to show him some respect because he was a better man last time, and that's fair enough, would you say? So Saturday night, we'll hopefully have a better fight. First and foremost, a good fight we need, don't we? Yes. Second and foremost, we need a win for me. Uh, no? No, not yet. <laughs> but then, Roy, you wanted to make a point in that press conference, which I don't know whether you were given the complete chance to say what you wanted to say. Right. So you can say it now if you want. Yeah, um, you know, Eddie was notified from August that... August? Yeah. So I'll, let you, I'll let you say peace, sorry. Yeah, from August that the fight wasn't going to happen because it was too close to uh, Sean fights and uh, my trainer he didn't want to leave Sean, he didn't want to leave me here. So Eddie was notified. It wasn't like I didn't show up, I didn't got the flu. It was none of that. I'm going to fight. So I'll take over from here. Basically, um, I found out, the first found out was the Thursday, the week before. You might before. have to pause for a second. Seen Kenny with a hat on. Huh? Yeah, I, don't know, I, I yeah. generally don't know. What's I'm more going intimidated on. by Kenny than Lenroy. <laughs> <laughs> you want to hope he's, oh, he's coming over? You can tell that I've not talked to Kenny Porter since May. I think he said that in the press conference. I've not had any communication. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Kenny. Welcome. Yes. Hello. Yeah. So we just here setting the record straight that you had notified Eddie from August. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I saw Eddie in California. He was with. Uh, Danny Jacobs and uh, he was you know there to make their announcement that they were going to be working together and at that time I told him hey Lenroy won't be able to make that fight because he's going to be fighting on Sean's card 
Sean's car that we had in New York. So um, that was done right there, person to person. There was no mistake, no misunderstanding. We actually shook hands on it, and that was the last time I thought about it. So that was it for us as far as we was concerned. We gave them more than enough notice, and that was a few months in advance that we would not be uh, able to attend the fight. The fights were then what they within a week of each other. So there's absolutely no way I could have um, you know, been in New York with Sean and sent him here or left Sean and yeah, and nah, it wasn't even open for consideration. So. Do you not need that tomorrow? No. No, yeah, you know, um, Cardiff's been and gone now. You know, my understanding is Leno pulled out of the Tuesday of the fight. You know, that was my understanding of it on, on my part, you know. But if that's what they're saying, that's what they're saying. That's been and gone now. It's about Saturday. We've got an audience now as well. Hello, everyone. But uh, it's all about Saturday now, you know. I said, I've got no hard feelings for Lenroy, and I don't think Lenroy's got hard feelings for me, but Saturday night we, we've got a fight and there can only be one winner unless it's a draw. I don't want to draw, I don't want to do it again for the third time. I don't, <laughs> I don't mind seeing him, but I don't want to do it a third time. I don't think anybody else does either. But um, it's all about Saturday night now. Lenroy, are you expecting a better version of Dave Allen come right. Saturday? And he better expect a better version yeah. of Lenroy Thomas too. There's no answer if about that. Fair no, comment, I, yeah. I expect a better Lenroy Thomas. A, because he knows he's got to be better. B, he's got Kenny Porter there, and you know you're a top trainer with that hat on. I know you're a great trainer wearing the hat, you know, so he's got to be able to train fighters with that hat on. So, most importantly, Kenny's in his corner, you know, and I think that's a big part. I'm 100% I'm fit. I wasn't fit last time. I, I didn't show you credit and respect in training camp, and I have this time. I'm fit. I'm going to do the same thing as last time. I'm not going to, I'm not going to say to Leonard, I'm going to come in and do an alley shuffle because I can't do one. My legs are too heavy. But um, I'm going to do my best. Leonard will do his best. I want a great fight, and obviously, I'm very confident in winning. Lenroy is himself, and hopefully, we can put on a good fight. You know, so. Do you I'm, believe? Sorry. Uh, sorry. Lenroy, do you believe you you can stop Dave Allen? Listen, this man, week? anything is possible. Wind me up, turn me loose, and you see what happens Saturday night. It's not possible. That's not possible. Lenroy can outbox me. Absolutely, you can't stop me. You can't stop me. And I probably I probably can't do a lot of things Lenroy can do, but he can't stop me. You make Luis Ortiz like he he, he punched me off. He punched me off to retirement and he, could, he struggled but it's going to be a good fight everybody that's a great little fight. audience on great sky fight. we're both going to Lenroy's going to stand in front of me from round one to round twelve he's going to stand in front of me we're going to just punch it out and we're going to have a war that's yes, the plan Lenroy we're going to do that that's, exactly that's what he's going to that's do exactly that is the game that's what plan we're going to stand in front of each walking other walking right across we're the ring and punch you in the mouth yes <laughs> that's it <laughs> and he's going to stand right across the ring and that's what's going to happen it's going to be it's just going to be an all out war Lenroy's not going to move we're going to box a little bit of the ring off and we're going, to, we're going to do this for 12 rounds to tune in. It's going to be fantastic. Where's the belt as well? I want to hold it. I want to see it. Oh, that's, that's the closest you're going to get to it. That, that is the closest you're going to get to it. <laughs> All right, Lenroy, listen. I must say, yes, I'm Kenny. impressed with Dave. Thank he you. looks great. Yes. Yes. I've Can heard I? nothing but great things about Dave. Nothing but great things about Dave. And so I, I expect that this is going to be a great fight. I expect it to be a better fight than the first fight. I expect it to be a tougher fight than the first fight. But my full expectation is as the levels get raised and these guys are raising their levels, that these guys are going to push each other to that brink. This will be the better fight than the championship, than the main event that night. And that's my full expectation. Can I just say also, after the defeats Lenroy, Kenny was one of the first men to ring me and ask how things were. So, you know. Thanks a lot for that as well. Yeah. Classy people, man. No, yeah, we'll see. Guys. We'll be friends. We'll, be, we'll go back to hating each other until Sunday now. <laughs> That's it. Get him away. Get him away from me now. I'm going right. to go for him right now. Lenroy, best of luck on Saturday night. Yeah, yeah. And uh, obviously with the way in tomorrow and then Saturday night is on. Yep. Showtime. Definitely. So if the boxing thing don't work out, maybe you can get into the modeling. I hope because so. you're looking good. You're looking good. You're looking good. You're looking good. Use yeah. Kenny's agent. Where did you get his good looks from? Oh, OK. How you doing, sir? How are you? All right, and thank you're you. dad? Yeah, I'm pleasure excited. to meet you. My pleasure. My pleasure. My pleasure. Yes. Good luck, Ryan. Thank you. Too much. Pleasure to meet you. This is a great video. This is, isn't it? And also, Thank you. while we're talking bomber, <laughs> this is my dad who boxed bomber twice. Bomber Graham. We're talking about bomber Graham. He, oh, no, he, no, tell, no. he tells every, he tells everybody about it. So I might as well get out there now. I'm here. Did it? Yeah. So he's being shy. He was telling me when right. he used to. I don't think we need to talk anymore. I think no, that's good. That was that was as good as that was you yeah, inviting like, yeah. your opponent just, just in to interview. Just get everybody in. Right. I'm not going to talk about other opponents with you. No, no. We'll talk I'm about that after the fight this, yeah. because this is what yeah we end up talking about all these potential fights. I'm just say all the British heavyweights out there. 
just keep being successful. I like all these fighters, um, all of them. Huey Fury, Sam Sexton, Sean Turner, Tom Little, or anyone that ever mentions my name or is in the British title mix. I hope you do well, I want you to be successful, and hope we can have some uh, good big fights in the future. So just keep doing your thing, and Sean Turner, it was tough the other day. I like Sean Turner. I like all of them. I just want everyone to do well, and we can all make a success out of each other. Why, why, why hate each other? Your dad's getting pictures now. Oh, I think he's a celebrity, doesn't he? With the opposition. <laughs> <laughs> no, all right, Dave. Listen, thank you very much uh, for talking to Eiffel TV, and we'll talk very tomorrow, soon. Yeah, tomorrow possibly. And the next day. I'll be there. Yeah. After that. All right. Thank you very much. You got anything else you want to say? No, I just want to say a big thank you, Tyler Durden. Um, who helps everything out? Jack Ellis is over there, Game Marshall. The whole gang's turned out for the press conference today. And just big thank you to Eddie. So I just want to thank everybody as always. So I'll see you tomorrow. All right, no problem. Top man. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> First time in history, all four belts in the cruiserweight division will belong proudly around the waist of one man.